I'm going around run, run the town Up in my way, up in my shit He's been making the sound He's on which, where I'm from Round till we making it out Hey Round till we making it out Hey Look Go around run, run the town Up in my way, up in my shit Mm-hmm. What we had seen last time. Sure. Everywhere I live is just all dirt. So, <laughs> so we got to worry about this other yeah. stuff. Nah, but like, so driving from here back to my house, it's just pretty much just a downhill all the way to Lancaster. So mm. all the wind that you guys get just goes right through us. Mm. So we get all the, the dirt and the dust. So everybody's car is like brown in the morning. Yeah, yeah. So, that yeah. Is horrible. I would, I would hate, hate that. that. I would yeah. hate I'm allergic to dust. People not even getting car washes just because it's going to happen to get it. Man, <laughs> you know, like, there's yeah. a bunch of car washes out there, too. <laughs> yeah, oh, I bet. All, all it's it's a booming in, business, bro. huh? It's it's booming in business on Wednesday night. Yeah. 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 The detailers, they come and just dust your car. Yeah, because even from here, like, I feel like the only reason people from here go to that side is like... <laughs> Six Flags is close to you guys. So that's like the closest mm. thing. Is it kind of? You you guys hit Six Flags before my where I live. Okay. Yeah. yeah. For sure. So, like, after six weeks, how far are you? Like, another 30 oh, minutes word. or so. Like, Damn, yeah. for sure. 45 if you do a speed limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, I didn't even notice that. I'm thinking it's, like, around the way. Hell no. Nah. nah. That's still not <laughs> nah. the yeah, that's, that's crazy. Nah. Yeah, yeah, that's a fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah cause so, like to from, us, I mean, from like here, it's, it's pretty much you stand on the same freeway, but to get to Six Flags, you got to, like, go this way. Mm. Yeah, so Six Flags is this way. Our house is this way. So you got to take a little detour. For sure. Yeah. No, nah, but they, they've been closing like like crazy. Like they, they've they been shutting down, I think, almost every day because of the, the winds and the rains and stuff like that. And, yeah. you know, safety reasons and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I wouldn't even think that that's a thing because over here, like, we have knots and Disneyland. Are like a year-round thing. That only, like, open? Knots <laughs> sometimes closes, but Disneyland is like yeah, virtually yeah, almost round. always open, you know? Every season. Uh, they do everything. Yeah, most of their rides are like inside though. Nah, that's true. Yeah, most of their rides are indoor. Uh, not not California Adventure. Well, except for them. Yeah, yeah, California Adventure is still. Yeah, yeah. They still got hella outside rides, you know. Yeah, let's just go. But, yeah, let's get. It. Yeah, what's up, everybody? I'm excited. <laughs> Episode thirty. Yeah. Who's hosting? It's Juma. We back. It's recording right now. No, yeah, we, we, we were. Say, we were, but, but like we didn't even do the intro. You know, we didn't even do the intro. My fault. Do you so think, yeah, no, we here. We here. We here. <laughs> All that's kept though. Don't you worry. All that's kept. Yeah. But now Juma, we, got yeah, we back. YB. Am I? Am I lots of film? Yeah. Do you do whatever you want? Yeah. Do whatever you like. Some you're... people they like. Nah. Sign his NDA. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. You didn't tell me I was in that video. You <laughs> trying <laughs> to get mad at the guest? Like, like it's just tag us. That's it. Make sure you guys. Well, I know I already follow you guys on here, but mm. like I want to make sure I got individual stuff too. Okay, mine's at i dot. Well, I already tried posting something, okay. and I got like yeah. no service down here. Dang. Yeah, yeah we we yeah, be like that. I got one bar. Yeah, and I'm far. trying to. I'm trying to. Post. Yeah, we underground. <laughs> that's the that's the downhole. Yeah, I got like the underground shit. I got one as well. Yeah, yeah. it is. What's Same on? boat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be on the Wi Fi. The Wi Fi <laughs> bars are strong, but my phone yeah. servers are like, yeah, that's just I not am, compatible. It's, 30 yeah, it's not compatible Wi-Fi. at all. You feel me? I feel that. Oh, yeah. Damn. YB, thank you for coming on, bro. Most deaf. And hey, we saw you at the season fest. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was only yeah. right to give you a full episode as well. So I want to say thank you for putting on a great epi- like a like, like a great performance. It was really high energy. Appreciate that. Was, that. that was it was really high that, energy for a small stage, out. you know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah, very yeah. small stage. Definitely, yeah. yeah. So like it stood out for us to like, 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 it was just easy for us to reach out again. Like, you know, he had good energy on the stage and also, you know, the small interview we interview, had yeah. with us, you know? So thank you as well for sliding. No, nah, it, was, it was definitely fun. Shout out to Wavy too. Yeah. And um, yeah, you know what? That was, I think I told you previously, that was, that was my second time being there. Mm-hmm. And the first time, like I walked in, I'm like, all right, so where's the stage? And they was like, no, nah, that is the stage. It's like, yeah. I was like, yeah. oh, okay, okay, all right. And then, and, I, and I'm tall, so like when I got on the stage, like my head is kind of like brushing against the the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. You're up there bouncing, bro. Yeah, yeah. So me, bro. I gotta, I gotta do You're like, like that, that weird jump. How you can even be, yo? <laughs> Honestly, now that makes me wonder. Like on a bigger stage, you'd probably just be. 
way more. Yeah, like, you know, that's the, probably like limiting you for you to even. Very, yeah, I yeah. mean, because it, it's a small stage, it's a low ceiling, and then the DJ was right behind me, so right. I didn't really have a lot of room to to move around. But with bigger stages, it's it's a whole different show, a whole completely different show. Because you know, I got room to. I mean. I'll jump off stages and I'll stand on top of speakers and okay. all type of stuff. So yeah, the the bigger stage I have, the more room I got. It's it's a whole different show. Well, I uh, like was the confidence always like that from the get go, like with performances, because I would imagine as an artist that's like way different from recording, you know? Right. So like the so, stage presence and doing like I uh, like I want to say antics. It's just probably just you, you know? Right. So like, was that natural? Was like the confidence natural with everything like that? No. Okay. <laughs> because. Um, so my, my earliest experiences from performing was actually in church. Mm. And before I can get up on stage to perform the, uh, the youth pastor had me write down my lyrics and make sure that everything was, you know, at least PG, you know, or G for church. And, um, so I will go up there and (laughs) luckily, you know, it was small crowds. So it was a lot of trial and error. You know what I mean? And like I was making my own beats. Like since I started rapping, I've been making my own tracks. Damn. So, you know. That's a whole nother section. You just throwing that in. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, hold on. We're going to get into that too. Hold we going to get into that later. Oh, yeah. Okay. But you know, so. That's fine. With me being on stage and not really knowing how to be on stage. Like I don't know anything about holding microphones or how close or how far. I don't right, know right. anything about crowd interaction. I don't know anything about um, like. What I do now is I'll write my song, but I'll write it in the sense of how is this going to look on stage? You know what I mean? So my songs are always catered to if I ever have to perform this song, what's it going to look like? Mm. I wasn't thinking that yeah. back then. You yeah. know what I mean? So a lot That's of my hella performances. Catered. That's yeah. really catered. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of my performances, early performances look like boo boo. So okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's way different now because I've had a lot of time to practice. I, I practice in my room. I have like my brush or like a, a microphone, just unplug it. I just walk around the house just practicing. Yeah. So it's a lot of practice behind just the like scenes. It's like mirroring your performance. What's about it to it's Absolutely. Like, like sports. I don't know. That's like those examples Same I can thing. always use, you know? Yeah, you, you say take up a, uh, yeah. a pair of socks and you just shoot into the, to the yeah, uh, yeah. dirty clothes. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. Same nah, thing. That, that's sick. Yeah. And, and then even with that, uh, you say you like cater your writing to mm-hmm. those performances. Is it based off I have a hype song or is it any type of song can fit the mold of the way you rehearse? Any song. Sense? So the way that I write my songs is... Like I said, I, I write the songs with the end in mind, right? Okay. Um, so anytime I'm writing that's a song, whether different. it's... I've, I've just never heard that. Yeah. Right. yeah well, that's, I'll be the first. Okay, I that, caught that's that. cool, I'm the first. Man, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, okay. Soulja Boy didn't do the first time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to start a claim. Like, no. Why be said he said I'm the first one. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so I just claim when I, when, when I write <laughs> songs, I'm, I'm, writing, I'm writing the pauses. I'm writing the dramatic effects I'm, I'm writing okay well because I, again i make my beats too so if i'm writing something i want to make sure that i can pull the beat out at this point so that the crowd hears what i'm saying on this particular line mm-hmm. so it's, it's a lot of strategy into my writing process um but yeah that's that's pretty much how i get down so any any song i write whether it's an up tempo whether it's a, a sad personal song or whatever i'm always like okay how is this going to look on stage Cause I don't just only do concerts. Like I'll do like an open mic or I'll do like a, a poetry slam mm. and poetry slams. Like I'm not jumping around a lot unless they right. ask me to do that. Right, right, but right. In, a, in a poet's night, I'm doing something like you know, in, intimate. Um, I'm, I might pull on your heartstrings a little bit. So I'm not going to jump around. I might sit in the stool and just kind of lean back. You know what I mean? Um, it just depends. So every song has its own character. It's its own life. So whatever song they ask me to do, that's what I'm going to bring to the stage. That's right. Uh, yeah. How did that uh, that song "Dangerous" come about? How did you get to writing that song? Because <laughs> so, we just watched the video, bro. That yeah, video was cinematic, bro. I appreciate that. No, to that. me, it's great. And now I'm thinking, damn, he thought of the end first. Now I'm thinking that after the fact. Yeah, so, yeah. Like knowing your your process or like just a part of it. That's yeah. That's sick. So I was working on a different song when I came up with "Dangerous," and um, Michael Jackson just randomly popped in my head, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, I was actually. So I'm also a barber too, right? 
So when I'm at work, I'm listening to music. I know it's, it's a lot. I know. No, no, no. We saw the controversial. Oh, okay. So so when I'm when I'm especially like when I'm when I'm in my writing mode, I listen to my beats all day long. I got my headphones on or whatever. And so I'm cutting one of my clients, and I'm like, you know what? What if I did? A drill beat with Michael Jackson, and I, my, I no lie, my client like turned around and was like, "What?" And I'm like, "Hear me out, bro." Yeah. So He's like, Michael, Jackson in drill. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, Michael Jackson and Israel. Michael Jackson and Israel. Like, yo, I can hear about. Yeah, brother, and like, so yo, what are you ironically, doing? Yeah. my my client was a comedian. So shout out to, to Sam Ridley. So, mm. um, but yeah, he he kind of gave me that look, like, really, bro? And I'm like, just hear me out. Like, it it sounds dope in my head. And then when he looked at me, I was kind of second guessing. I was like, I don't know how this is going to turn out. And so when I went home and I did it, I was like, okay, yeah, shut up. This is fire. Mm. So, and then uh, that's that's pretty yeah, much that. Yeah, I thought that. so. Yeah, I thought so. Basically, yeah. <laughs> You, know, you already so. knew the Michael Jackson song in mind, like, because that's not one of his cliche big ones. Like, it's not, like, it's, it's not, it's not, it's more. Um, you know what? I got to snitch on myself a little bit. So, <coughs> when I'm in my creative mode, like, yeah. I don't really know what I'm doing yeah. until after it's done. Oh, word. You know what I mean? So, like, people are like, How'd you come up with the concept? I'm like, I, I don't, I don't know. I just, it just popped in my head. I did it. That's what came out. You know, that's not. It's not often to where I go into the studio with an idea already. I kind of sit there, just kind of start making stuff, and then whatever happens, happens. That was one of those times where it's kind of like, I know I wanted to do drill, and I'm like, okay, what can I do? Because everybody does drill. So I'm mm. like, let's just throw Michael Jackson on there because you're not really going to expect it. And so when I did it, it, it worked. And um, that was actually the first song that I did for the album. And then uh, and it was the easiest one to do. Um so yeah, that's that's pretty much what I, I can't really tell you how I came up with it. I just kind of just just did it. So, the way you explain that, my mind, go, go, go no, 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 I was gonna say the way you explain that is um is that the same as making beats? Because at times I feel like producers go in the same way, like just playing with a couple sounds, mm -hmm. like just not necessarily knowing the end concept, but they know they like what they're hearing while they're going yeah. about it. I mean, is every, that the same every way you producer, go about making your beats? Kind of. Every producer is different. Um, like for example, like some producers they'll start with. Their their drum pattern first, like you know, the boom, the boom, the boom, the boom. like they want, and then they'll come up with the melody later. I'm actually the opposite, so mm. I'll, I'll come up with all my sounds first, like the piano, the guitar, the bass, the synth. I'll do my drums last, okay, you know, which is really weird. Um, but yeah, anytime I'm, I'm making beats, I kind of just, I, I well, I, I go off of how I feel, you know. So if I'm if I'm in like a decent mood, then I just make something kind of like lo-fi like kind of vibey or up tempo but like if i'm angry i'm gonna make like some waka flocka like early waka flocka mm. type stuff you know just i'm like blow somebody up <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know what i mean um if i'm if i'm kind of like down or in my feelings that day I, I'll, I'll do something low so i really just go off of how i feel okay yeah and like was it the same when you first started making beats or just maybe i could ask more in depth about the people you, you were listening to at the time when you first started making beats were they a big influence on you or did they, or was it you like, you know, I, I'm like, I'm gonna just mess with this program because I want to make a beat. Right. Inside. So I know I mentioned Soldier Boy earlier. So Soldier Boy, <laughs> I remade one of his beats. I, I redid Crank That Soldier Boy. Mm. That was my very first beat ever. And um, ever. That's hard. <laughs> and, um, you know, I was making beats way before YouTube was out. So it was a lot of trial and error. Like, okay, what does this do? What does this do? And, um, so, I mean, and at the time, FL only had like four sounds. So okay. it wasn't hard to find the same sounds that, yeah. that Soulja Boy used. So when I found them, I was like, all right, bet. So I just redid the beat. Um, after that, like all my beats were trash, like every single one. But at, at the <laughs> That's time, honest. But That's at the honest. time, I thought they were fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Be like, y'all do so. Yeah. Y'all yeah. ain't with the vision yet. Man, so, yeah, and then yeah. what's crazy is I actually came across like a lot of my old music. Mm -hmm. And then like my daughter was like, let me hear it. I'm like, no, break the CD. And like, never again. Yeah. <laughs> so from my ears early. Like, yeah, like, from my, my, my ears only, yeah. like never again. But um, nah, so... A lot of my earlier beats was just a lot of, okay, well, what does this do? Let's just put it together. And mm. because I was so excited that I actually made a beat, I didn't really care how it sounded. I'm like, I got a right. beat. You know, and on top of that, like at the time, nobody was really making beats like that. You know, my, my uncle, shout out to my uncle, came down from Long Beach, gave me the, the oh, at the time it was called Fruity Loops, 
Okay. Gave me the, and this is when it was still on a disc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so he gave me the disc and he was like, all right, good luck. And then went back home. So he left me with the program to kind of figure it out. And so upon figuring it out, I made Crank That Soldier Boy. Then I made all my own stuff. So, yeah. That's a fire transition, bro. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah not, not really. Nah, honestly. <laughs> no, no, like I said, I said because... all, all my beats were trash. So. <laughs> nah, but it, to me, that's like kind of self-motivated. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for that's sure. That's like the biggest part about it. Like, you didn't need a... I'm doing this because it's hot. This is, yeah. it's, it's not like a yeah no you know like you're not trying to be like another it. rapper. It's more or absolutely. Less like I got this thing that I'm willing to just fuck around with, and it's yeah. like and and the thing something. is like and I'm glad we're doing this podcast, so it's, it's on record. Like I was making beats before Soldier Boy even came out. Mm. You know what I mean? But Soldier Boy made that particular program popular. Mm. You know what I mean? They had some other stuff. I think they had like a cakewalk or like E J something. Some it was some weird stuff, but um, there wasn't a lot of producers around me. You know, as far as like me and all the other guys that are rapping, right? They would just find like old instrumentals. Mm-hmm. You know, or, or um, it's like it's definitely the Wayne era, so it's just like you, you can rap yeah. over what's hot as well. Like, exactly, just- exactly. So if if you were not making the beats, you had to go on like LimeWire and find or Bear Share. You know, and and get the instrumental, like the game instrumental, like One Blood instrumental, or you had to get like a Snoop Dogg instrumental, and that's what we were using. Nobody was making beats, mm-hmm. you know. So now everybody's making beats. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, and then if you were making beats back then, you wanted it to sound like what you just heard, well, definitely. You know, so yeah, every everybody's beats at the time sounded like Soldier Boy's beats, like everybody's stuff. Mm. You know, because Soldier Boy's first album, it was you know, crank that Soldier Boy, that yah trick. The um, kiss me through the phone. So all the beats sounded like that, like real cheesy and, mm-hmm. and kind of, you know, elementary. No, definitely. You know, so yeah. And then if I were to say, just keep it on the beat topic, were you thinking I'm gonna rap to my beats, or like yeah. just even yeah, like that was yeah. your motivation at, at first? It was Absolutely. Like, so okay. I, I mean, honestly, I wasn't even thinking about producing until my uncle came down with the program. I was. Um, I was rapping way before Sluice I started uncle, making beats. Man. Yeah, uncle, for real, yeah. for real. Um, I was rapping way before he gave me the program. You know, but again, I would just download the songs, the instrumental, and I just rap over that. Um, and then when my uncle brought the program to me, I'm like, what is this? And then, so it was kind of like half and half, mm. you know, like if I wasn't feeling what I was making, I'm like, okay, just go back to old faithful, just download an instrumental and just keep and going. Just do, yeah. Yeah. Just do it that way. So, um, but, um, I'm glad that I had the program at the time because I was trying to make the beats sound like the instrumentals, which was really hard to do. Cause you only had like, like I said, four or five sounds. So you had to really <laughs> like become like a scientist to make Crank that Soldier Boy sound like the game or Snoop Dogg or Chris Brown or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it, it was it was hard to be a producer, but you know, I still got it done. So when I was making my own stuff, I'm like, you know what? Let me just try and see what it sounds like. And then once I kind of started doing that a lot more, I, I really never looked back. That's fire, bro. Yeah. Fuck with all that. Fuck with all that. And then uh when did it get to the point where, you know, like the seriousness, the mm-hmm. albums. I want to start making albums. Day one. I want to start pushing it. Day one. Okay, and then maybe, day one. And then maybe if you could go into like your beginning catalog, buddy. Ah. ah. <laughs> so, so again, all my please. early stuff was trash. Yeah. <laughs> please, bro. So just so we could like get to this point, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, for sure, and, for sure. And so, like talk about the progression. The oh man, you gonna make me tell on myself, man. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what? Whatever all right, you so, want to tell us. Whatever bump it. Whatever. whatever. Y'all, yeah. Whatever. Y'all the homie, so I'll I appreciate it. that. So <laughs> appreciate this, bro. So. Oh, yeah. We got One of the we got oh, him, we got man. him, we got him, guys. we got him. <laughs> so man, it's getting hot in here now. <laughs> so, so one of my earliest songs, it was called Friday. Oh my gosh, the song was cheesy. It, it's making me laugh just thinking about it. How'd it, it go? Some, it went. <laughs> <laughs> it was like what I say. It was like Friday is the best day of the week. And every day at four thirty, we play hide and go seek. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's cool, you know. I like to watch TV, and it's cool because I like watching BET or something like that, you know. Um, and then I had like a whole—I went through the whole change the rap name. So like all my old lyrics, 
had like a different name. Mm. You know, it took me a minute to get stuck with YB Terry on, but um, I'm going through like all my old rhymes. I'm like, who the heck is Lil Taz? <laughs> like, <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, where'd the name come yeah, from? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was writing songs like about the days of the week. I was writing songs about Pokemon. I made a birthday song for my mom, mm. which, which is really weird because years later she went to college and actually used my song as a college project, which was crazy. And she got an A. So, that that's was that it. was crazy. That's fine. And then like every year on her birthday. Honestly, that when you think like, yo, I'm one of those. Like, I can do this music shit, <laughs> uh, you know? For real. Like for real. This, yeah, man. Honestly, so like, like it's, it's like crazy, that. bro. Yeah. So like all and then like going back to when I was writing music in church, mm -hmm. um, I would I would give the, the pastor all my lyrics. And then years later, like I would say like maybe three, four years ago. She ran into me at the barbershop. Hey, I got something for you. She pulled out a box. And it was all my lyrics from when I was a kid. I'm like, wow. you kept these? And she was like, yeah, I never threw them that's away. That's fine. And man, it was, I still got them to this day, bro. Yeah. I'm like, that's crazy. And I, I'm looking over and I'm like, dang, I was ass. <laughs> man, no, I'm, I'm just going to bro. For real, for real. <laughs> like, bro, I got like, in my house, it's like a bookshelf. And this is like all of my old lyrics, like notebooks full of stuff, bro. And it's like, dang, like I sucked. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying it too. It's like I'm nah. not that way. Don't get it twisted. To I ain't me, that it's way tangible now, for the ten thousand hours. You know, like no one could ever deny it. Yeah. Man, nah, the work's right there, man. Like, no, it's it's here. Y'all can for see show, the beginning. You know, like, you know, like I'll tell uh, people, like, if, if you want a good laugh, just look at my old stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, man, it, it was a, a crazy journey. I'm still on a journey, but mm -hmm. back then it was like I said, birthday songs. I made. A song called Money Train. I was broke as a joke, bro. I, I made songs about girls that I didn't have. I was talking about cars I wasn't driving. You know what I mean? I was talking about all kind of stuff. But um, that was that's just kind of what what was going on. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, this, this sounds cool. Let's just put this in here. So that was pretty much it. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, is there like a uh, like is there like a complete comparison to what you're doing today? Like it. You're like totally opposite. You way more transparent. I know uh, like we've heard your stuff, but right. If you yeah. could maybe describe your style and what sure. like maybe you wanna. So like, at the time, like I was, I was doing a bunch of yeah, I was doing a bunch of music that I wasn't living. You know, what I mean, I'm like, okay. oh yeah, I'm out here on the block in a, in a six four. I'm like, I didn't even know what a six four was. You know what I mean? I, I heard somebody else say it. I'm like, all right, well he's saying it, I'm gonna say it too. Mm -hmm. So now, like in some of my songs, if I say. Um, I fly in a helicopter for the weekend. It's because I just did it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or if I say um, I'm a I'm a rent a limo, we're going to go out of town. Or if I'm going to go um, paintballing or I just shot an AK-47, like I really just did that. Maybe not at anybody, but, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm like, no, I went to the gun range and I, and I shot it legally. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, one of my songs, Average Joe, I'm just talking about like picking my nose. You feel what I'm saying? So um, my music, anything you hear me say at this point, I actually did it. Mm -hmm. Or I'm doing it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So um, it's like, did you really do that? Yes, I did. You mm -hmm. know, me and my bro was just talking about it. You know, like just the the, the realness of, of what we go through. You know, I put it in my music. Like I have no reason to, to fake it. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I mean? Like I said, you know, been to jail, been in the gangs, been in fights, walked around with, with my gun on me. You know what I mean? So I'm not I'm not faking about that stuff. Shout mm -hmm. out people. Like I, I really do that stuff. Mm -hmm. Not do it, but I did that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So my music is is completely transparent. Anything you hear me say in my lyrics, like I either did it or I'm going to do it. Right. So yeah. And then I wanted it's to go dope, into man. specifically skill wise, bro. Mm, Cause yeah. you're saying all that's in your content, but you're rapping really good, you know? I appreciate this that. This shit's on nice. like hype beats, you know? Mm. Like because I feel like at times we're in an era where the beat can take away somebody like trying to listen, you know, mm -hmm. like the skill wise. Because you're doing hype beats, but you're really focused on like, you know, like sounding really nice with the with the mm, flows and stuff, like the yeah. cadences and the switch ups and all that. Yeah. So, who's your motivation on that side? It's not necessarily a who. Um, it's it's more of a what's going on. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, I can't necessarily say that I I I do my lyrics like uh, this person or like a that person. Don't right. get me wrong. Like I, I love the Kendricks, K Dodge, Jordan Lucas, um, yeah, La Russell. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. I, I love all these people, but I don't rap like them you know what i mean i i rap like me and, and the reason why i say that it's not a, it's not a diss to them it's i don't live their life and they don't live mine you know what i mean i'm not going to talk about something that they're doing that's not me you feel what i'm saying so um like for example 
Um, if You're I, so preface on your story, I fuck with that. Exactly, definitely, exactly. So, uh, and then going going to the to the beats. The reason why I make a lot of up tempo stuff. One, it's it's just fun. But two, those are the songs that people call me for to come and perform. Mm. You don't really see a lot of people like, hey, can you come and perform and just sit in this chair and not do anything? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get the, you know yeah, what I mean? So that makes sense. most of the time when people call me is because they saw me jumping around and just going crazy. So they're like, hey, we want that guy. So it's definitely like an understanding what the people want. Exactly. Exactly. So they're, they're going to call the guy that's jumping around. They're going to call the guy that they take one sip of the bottle and they, they just dump it into the crowd. They're, they're going to keep calling that guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But depending on the the booker or the venue, they might call the other guy. That's kind of like the J. Cole. We just going to vibe out on the stage, low lights, put your lighters up and we just going to chill. Mm-hmm. You, you feel what I'm saying? So, I do. And I, I got music for, for all of that. But the people that call me the most, they want to see me jump around. Mm-hmm. So, and is that the, the same hype. when you're choosing your set list? Yes. Okay. So, um, <laughs> damn, I'm telling on myself again. So, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Hold on, oh, no, you, you, good, you good. Good. So, so good. That's oh, how, I, good. how I choose my set list, I, I start out with something that's that's high energy, up tempo. And then, you know, in the middle of the set list, I, I bring it down because I'm like, I'm not 18 anymore. So I got to I got to catch my breath. <laughs> yeah, I got to breathe, you know, and then <laughs> yeah, really, yeah. and then towards the end of the set, I'm like, you know what? Bump it. We just going to go out with a bang. If I pass out, we're going to pass out on a high note. You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So my my set list is is high, low, high. That's that's how I do it. Any anytime. Um, unless it's a specific thing. So I'm just kind of low the whole time. Um, then maybe I'll pick up the tempo a little bit, but for the most part, I'm, I'm high. I bring it down a little bit to kind of vibe out, and then I end it with a high note. So okay. that's, that's how I do my set list. Legit. Yeah. That's pretty fire. I fuck with that. We even yeah. wanted more. Yeah. It Absolutely. captured our attention Absolutely. at the show, you know? Like, that, that was one thing it has to do with, like, because I know at shows, like, I'm there mainly, like, I'm just hanging out, and it's like, I got to get something that's going to catch my ear. So most, yeah. most of the time, it's not only the beat, but it's like, how what much is saying? the person trying? No, honestly, like in those type of settings, it has to do with how much the person actually is feeling their own stuff. Yeah, yeah, you I know, get you. like I get you. it's not even a matter of if, if I fuck with it. it. Has to do with like do they right. fuck with their, their own, own stuff? Confidence. You know, like absolutely. You Man, know, so th- that's, that's I know that resonates thing. most of the time. For sure, for sure. Like when you're when you're doing music, like for example, I'm 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 training up uh, one of my young homies, um, Cam B. Shout out Cam Beasy, and uh, he's a 12 year old rapper, and he's fire. He's mm. fire. And, you know, I even had to tell him, I'm like, when you rap in this stuff, like, do you actually believe it? He's like, yeah. And then I'll ask him, okay, is, are these bars true or it just sounded kind of dope? He's like, no, it just sounded dope. I said, okay, cool. Now, the reason why I'm asking that is because if you don't believe it, it's going to show in your performance. You know what I mean? But if you actually rap in something that you believe, you're going to see that. You know what I mean? So if I'm on stage and I'm like, I'm the greatest rapper in the world. And like, you see that, that confidence because that person really believes it. Right. But if you go on stage and you see somebody who's like, man, I'm the best rapper in the world. And it's kind of like, eh, you didn't believe that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a big yeah. difference. No, definitely. You know, so like when, yeah. when Lil Wayne in like 07, 08 was like, I'm the best rapper alive. Like he Claiming meant that. It. Yeah. Yeah. He claimed, he meant that. And everybody around started saying, oh, Lil Wayne's the best rapper because that energy and that confidence went with everybody. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So, but he really was, though. Yeah, like, for <laughs> real? No, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you, you got, you yeah, got yeah, album Weezy, you got mixtape Weezy. It's like, that's yeah, you crazy. True, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the, the confidence, you, you got to have the, the confidence, whether it's an up-tempo song, a low-tempo, it doesn't even matter. Like, yeah, just yeah, yeah. have that confidence. Because other people, like he just said, they're going to pick that apart. Clutch. You know yep. what I mean? So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, confidence is always key, man. Confidence. For sure, for sure. Yeah, confidence gets the job done. Yeah, like, whether you're performing, whether you're you're writing, Talking to a girl, going for a job interview or whatever, just have the confidence. You know, I mean, if they don't feel like you can get the job, they're not gonna give it to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for you know, real. you gotta go in there knowing that the yeah, job is that. yours. <laughs> so yeah, no, definitely. Maybe you just switch nice. the range of your, sure. the song from Dangerous. Slide through was another one we heard. Yeah. Oh yeah. Choosing, I know you are like a, you went into your process. Mm-hmm. How is it choosing the next song I'm gonna write? Like, like, uh, like, I know you say you go into a booth and like you're willing to just go about it. But mm-hmm. is there any a time where you know exactly what you're going to make? Because I feel like this, you know, the range from dangerous to slide through is like a whole different vibe. So slide through was actually a song that I wrote 
um, for one of my friends who has his own company. And so some of the songs that I write are intentional. So like um, I did a song called Slide Through. There's another song I did called Kingdom Cuts. I wrote those songs specifically for businesses. Mm. So that's, that's another source of income that I'm, that I'm into is like, I'll write a song for your business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so um, when I did the How song- How did that come about? Just like, yeah, was that's that something crazy. you thought of? Like, you're like, yo, yeah. let me, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, me and my, my bro, Hassan, we were talking about it. And uh, he that's was like- fire. Yeah, yeah, so he was like, man, man uh, I need I need a way to promote my business because he has a, he had a barbershop, has a barbershop, and I'm like, well, I'll just do a song for you, and so that's that's how I came about it. And so when I gave him the song, he was like, yo, this is fire. He was like, why don't you do this for other businesses? And then that's how I started. So I, I did a YouTube channel. I did well, a couple YouTube channels, um, slide through. Um, my boy at the time, he was doing custom slides. And so he was like, yo, make me a song for my YouTube channel. I'm like, all right. So if you bang my line, yeah. I'm going to slide through. <laughs> so that, that's uh, how that came that's out. That's like, like like a commercial for them. That's exactly. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So like, like if, you, if you listen to the Arby's, you know, the right, sick ass right. jingle. Yeah. <laughs> so like, Arby's, if you, yo, if, you listen to the, if you listen to the lyrics of slide through, I'm talking about shoes, the whole song. Well, yeah, you know, the song is called that. slide through like Nike yeah, slides. Yeah, yeah. The whole song is about a Nike slide. So, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and then like on YouTube, the cover art is a pair of Nike slides. Yeah, actually, yeah. my Nike slides. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. That's sick, bro. Yeah. That's like just ideas for other artists or, or like how to push their work, you know, because I know Absolutely. when they But it gotta age, be dope, though. Bro. I'm no, talking definitely. to artists. Like, it's gotta be dope, though. Of Tell course. our secrets today, bro. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah, you're literally, you're literally giving game because I, cause I can imagine somebody thinking, I just, I'm like, I'm just gonna do the regular drops. Yeah. All platforms. Like, it's not really direct to an Absolutely. artist. Like, you know, like yeah. an audience, you could fuck around and have the barbershop pushing it mm-hmm. to all the clients. And, and they now do. We they, shot a video you know? for it, too. Yeah. Just have we, it we played in the barbershop. Yeah. Like, so, and, and then it's like a direct audience being captured, you know? Because it's yeah. like, I would imagine most of these guys would be on the same type of time as me or like mm-hmm. similar interests, you know? Nah, nah. No, no, because nah, not, a lot of artists, a lot of artists, they do what other people do. They They duplicate what they see. You don't have a lot of artists that are innovators. You have very, very, very few, very few. Like La Russell was one of them. Um, Nipsey Hussle was another. Me and my bro was just talking about Nipsey Hussle. That's an it's not a lot of artists that are that are coming up with new things. Mm. A lot of the artists that you hear today sound like the the previous five. You know what I mean? Like a few years ago, there was a guy came up to me. He was like, "Hey man, you should work with me." I'm like, "All right, why?" He was like, "I sound just like Tiger." Like, why the hell would I want to work with you then? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's already a tiger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, give me something new. He didn't even help him so, Chad. Nah, you, you, like, say, you say five, who are the five? Uh, so, as far as, like, innovative artists, you got somebody, like I said, like, you got LaRussell. Mm. You got somebody like Nipsey Hussle. You have somebody, honestly, whether people like it or not, you got somebody like Snoop Dogg that's going into different genres and being successful at it at that. Yeah, we were just talking about that the other day. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like, bro crazy. did the gangster rap, successful. Bro went and did a whole Rastafari album, successful, number one. Then he went and did a gospel album, number one. You feel what I'm saying? And that, then, like, like he's he doing kid popping. stuff. Yeah, yeah he'll you do, feel, like, pop songs, too. He yeah, still get in that K-pop. Bag. Yeah. yeah, all that stuff. Did a song with Katy Perry, went number uh, one. You know what I mean? And then they, they that had shit a, they had a, Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So, like, you, you're doing all this stuff. They they hire the people, especially like the big wigs, they call the ones that are innovative. You see what I'm saying? Look at the last Super Bowl. They call the innovators. You feel Definitely. what I'm saying? No one is rapping as crazy as Eminem. Yeah. Nobody. And Nobody. then the originality of 50. Exactly. And like, you know, when like 50 what he came out had, had and that the whole highest time. number one yeah. sale, the, the, the highest Why was he upside sales. down, though? Damn. Why was he upside down? <laughs> Think about because it, though. The, Look the at the club, in the club video. video. Yeah, yeah. That's what he was hey, doing. Yeah, was, you feel what I'm saying? He just looked crazy. Yeah, he did. He yeah. was swollen, bro. You feel what I'm saying? But like, Blood rush his face, though. No, facts. And then, like, we saw the Super Bowl, he was like hella small, too. I can't protect that. Yeah, it was crazy. But like, look at the Super Bowl. You got Dr. Dre, who. NWA, you mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? This uh, this is a group that came in in the middle of like uh, the let me love you down. And then they saying F the police, like, wait, what? Mm-hmm. Innovator, you feel what I'm saying? You got you got Snoop Dogg who, who's out here, like I said, going across genres. You got Eminem at the Super Bowl. You got Anderson Pack. didn't say not one word, but how many singers you see drumming to their own song and actually and like you don't ever see that mm-hmm. you feel what i'm saying so you got and then of course you got kendrick lamar you got mary j Blige, you got all these people all these innovators in one spot 
You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, the innovators yeah, yeah. are the ones that, that, that are changing the game. Soldier Boy is an innovator. And then also stand the test of time. Absolutely. Yeah. Stand the test of time. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So the, these are the people that I look to. It's like, okay, what are y'all doing next? You, you know what I mean? Like yeah, I, just, yeah. I recently went back and I was watching the um, Defiant Ones, the Dr. Dre documentary. And it, w- it was centered around his move with Apple when he did the, the Beats by Dre mm-hmm. and sold it. And just that whole process. And he's like, no, I want to do something different. You know, so even the idea of making his own headphones, game changer. Then you sell it to the biggest, yeah, one of the biggest mm-hmm. corporations in the world. And you overnight become a billionaire. Right. Innovative. You feel what I'm saying? Nipsey Hussle was like, nah, I'm not going to a major record label. Like, I'm going to flip these out of the trunk mm-hmm. or out of my own store. He sold made that $100 a million, album as well. You, you feel yeah, what I'm saying? So like, yeah. Doing he's, all of that before of uh, before a record le- label even came around. Right. You, you see what I'm saying? So that's these are the people that I'm looking for. I'm like, okay, well, what are y'all doing? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like, maybe I might not do exactly what you're doing, but it's going to start jogging my own thoughts. Okay, well, let me if they're doing this, then let me do this. Oh yeah. So yeah, I'm 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 one of the I'm like let me let me be an innovator. I want to be a game changer. Even with that being said, I want to give you your pause where we spoke about it briefly upstairs. And even right now about how artists drop their music mm-hmm. on your page, this thing about it, your new album, Can I Be Honest? Yeah, yeah. You had a website set up. Yeah. That's like you That's want crazy. people to have a direct link to you. Yeah, absolutely. How was he even thinking of that idea in itself? And no, as you so, said, trying to be original, you know? Right. So I only saw that happen one other time, and that was with LaRussell. Mm. And he, shout out to him, one, he's a Cali native as well. He's out there in Vallejo in the Bay Area. But- he did something. I didn't even know who he was, honestly. He did something. I'm like, all right, let me check out his music. I went to his website, and he was like, pay what you want. I'm like, what? Like, I can pay anything, and I can get the whole album? So I, I did it, and I, I gave him more than like a dollar. I gave him like 10. You know, mm-hmm. Standard iTunes time, you know, yeah. 99. <laughs> yeah. So I, I would have done it for anybody else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thing, yeah. And um, yeah, I just got the album. I was like, I'm doing that. That's mm. dope. And then after I did some more research and I thought about it, you know, his his big thing is what is the album, what is the music worth to you? I know what it's worth to me. I made it. What is it worth to you? You know what I mean? So I I, I leave the price in their hands. And and honestly, the kind of person that I am is like, if you only have like a dollar or you only want to give a dollar, that's, that's perfectly fine. But if you want to give, like I have somebody pay $250 for my album. 250 and I was, I was like you value me a lot because that's that's dope I yeah had people give me one dollar and anything in between you know what I mean so that's crazy it's it, it, it's a really a matter of what does my music mean to you mm-hmm. not even my music like because me and my music is is one so it's like well, what do I mean to you you know what I mean so when I did that I started seeing just how valuable I am to people you know, because you don't really see that value when you put your stuff on Spotify and stuff like that. Because right. you get like a couple streams here, a couple streams there. You don't really know. Mm-hmm. But the way that I was doing it, no, I can actually see the person's name when they buy it. So if I come across them in person or on the street, I'm like, yo, thank you. Because I saw that you bought my album. Mm-hmm. Don't even matter how much you bought it for. You still bought it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You know you know what I mean? Definitely. So I, I yeah. also had an album release party. My album release party Can't was hard. yeah. My That's my true, album release right. party was entirely funded by people that bought my album. I didn't pay damn. not one dollar for the album release party. That's not nice. damn, bro. Where was, was it at? Huh? Where was it at? Lancaster. Lancaster. Yeah, hometown. So, um, it it was me and my team. Um, it's some of them over here. Okay, so um, this is the team. So this is the team. Oh yeah, I'm, I don't go nowhere without my team. Hell yeah, <laughs> you, you're not gonna catch me by myself without my team. Um, so but yeah, man. The um, not only that. On the business side, you look at streams, Spotify is literally paying you less than a penny for one stream. You understand what I'm saying? In order to in order to generate a whole dollar, you gotta listen to my song minimum 300 times. Minimum. So the song Dangerous, you gotta play it 300 times just for me to make $1. Whereas if you sell it wholesale and you can pay whatever you want, I just made that $1 in like directly two seconds. Directly to you, yeah. And it's directly to me. So that $1 is equivalent to your 300 streams. You know what I mean? So I had a conversation with an artist in, in Hollywood and he was like, what are your streams looking like? I'm like, why are you so focused on the streams? I'm like, do you want to look like you got money? Or do you want to actually have money? Because I actually have money. You know what I mean? But Crazy. you're like, oh, I got, a, I got a million streams. You really only got $3,000. It really don't mean that much. 
You, you feel what I'm saying? Like, and then Pandora pays you even less. Oh, I'm on Pandora. You're not making any money, bro. You know what I mean? So it's you gotta do like because it's it's music business. People are so focused on the music they ignore the business. Like they, that's why these artists are not making a lot of money because I'm like y'all don't know what y'all reading. Like you don't really know what you're doing. You're doing it because you saw somebody else do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But when did you start taking that side serious? Like the business the side? The business day one. Day one. I've been, listen, I, I made my own Monopoly boards at like eight, bro. So, um, yeah, I've, I've been music business minded forever. That's, that's just how, I mean, they'll, they'll tell you, I'm, I'm this way all day. Mm -hmm. how, how can I make some money? Like, how can mm -hmm. we make some money? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm coming up with different, whether they work or not, I'm coming up with different ideas. Did this work? Bet, let's keep doing that. It didn't work? All right, throw it away, try another one. So I, I've been business all day, every day. So yeah, and that just coincides to how you market yourself, like through the social. Because mm -hmm. that's yeah. how, like, at times I always say to the artists, like, it's not like I do extensive research. Yeah. But at times it's easier when the artist has an extensive page, you yeah, know. Yeah, so yeah. Like, and then it's like, all right, now he has a website link for me to go to, you know. So it's yeah. like, like those little things. It just makes it easier, not only to talk to the person, but it's like. I see what you stand for and what you want to push as well, you know, like mm -hmm. how you speak on your team or just how you stand for in your music or like are you focused on your visuals at this point in time. Yeah. It's like all that stuff helps, you know? Yeah. So. Even, I mean, even down to the, to the visuals, you know, artists are, they, okay, that's, they saw this artist with, with a handful of money. Let me get a handful of money. It's like, why? Like, do you realize that like, that's how niggas getting killed out here? Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I got money, but I'm not going to tell you that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? Like, if the, these artists, they, they spend all this money just for the appearance of something that they don't have. Right. You know what I mean? They 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 book these these big old studios to get a car that they got to pay to be in there. They they buy, you know, they pay for all these models and all this, this fake props and these lights. And they they out here. They Did you know that you can actually rent jewelry? Yeah. They yeah. actually the, renting jewelry. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, That's all, crazy. all for what? Like a, uh, a two minute video? Yeah, it's crazy. And you only getting like twenty likes. Like, mm -hmm. what was it really worth it? Uh, you feel what I'm saying? For the look, like I'm doing for the something. look. Yeah, you, you know, know what I mean. Whereas any visuals that, like, ah, yeah. For yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, all for about two seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all, all for the way. You know what I mean? So, like, so with my dangerous video, like that wasn't something. Even though it's a really short, quote unquote, simple video, like, nah, me and my team, like, we really thought about that. Like, we we typed it up and I, we had meeting after meeting after meeting. Okay, what is this gonna look like? We might not have the, the best equipment, but like, are you gonna get the message? You know mm. what I mean? There's a reason why it's going back and forth. It was a nice black video, bro. Thank you. It was really Shout nice out to video. Devon. It was shot really the, okay. uh, Divine yeah. Interventions. Like, so, show. We were like, what? Yeah. This is dope. Yeah, the, yeah so, like that was the hook for us. Like, we seen that one first and I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. So, I mean, like, even when I, like, when I do my videos, I think of like, the Buster Rhymes and the Missy Elliott's and the Ludacris and the Michael Jackson's like, okay, if you watch this video, what are you about to see? You know what I mean? Like Missy Elliott, like she she has some some of my favorite videos of all time. You know what I mean? Like when she did the uh, get your freak on, like she did the 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 uh, and mm -hmm. spit. Like that spit went like fifty feet, but they they focused on the spit and then they landed in somebody's mouth. I was like, somebody had to think about that. I, you know, he, he's yeah, like, so that's, that's bro. That yeah, they, they had to really yeah. write that. You feel what I'm saying? Um, Buster Rhymes, when he was doing the um, I Love My Chick, like he did a whole Mr. and Mrs. Smith video. You know what I mean? Like people that actually take time to do that, like Ludacris with the uh, uh, Get Back and his arms is his own on swole the whole yeah. video. I'm yeah. like, yeah. for what? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's just the, 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 the visual. visual yeah. that, that's it's another like, level. Like, yeah. Like, it's like memorable yeah. as well. Like that's a that's another level of of artistry that a lot of artists today don't think about. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about the music. I'm thinking about the business, the wardrobe, the hair, the how does the visuals gonna look? You know, all we got is a is an iPhone. Okay, well let's make it work with an iPhone. You, like how creative can we get? I'm I'm about the creativity. You know what I mean? And a lot of artists are just not creative. They just oh he did it. Let me do it too. That's it. You know what I mean? So to me, I'm like, if I don't get a million views, I'm not tripping because I'm being true to who I am, who my team is, and and what we stand for. I'm like, was I was I creative? Yes. Do I have the freedom to do this? Yes. Did it cost me a million dollars? Hell no. Nah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you right, know what I mean? Like, yeah, we're going to make yeah, it work yeah. with what we got. So, yeah. Nah, that's fire. And I, sp I spoke about that link for the album. Please talk about the website, where it is, and mm -hmm. how people can find that everything. Please, bro. Yeah. So the website is uh, JC Reppin, which is my my brand. 
um, what I stand for. It's, it's more than just a website. It's, it's tatted on my arm. It's mm. everything. Uh, JC Reppin, J-C-R-E-P-P-I-N.com. Um, it's actually my LLC. So I have multiple, music is just one of the things that I do. Like I said, yeah, what else? What else? Um, I'm a DJ as well. Okay. Um, I dance as well. Like I, I do crump. Yeah. Um, I produce for crumpers. Um, my music has actually gone a lot farther in crump than it has with my, my industry music. Word. Yeah, like music, my crump music has been Philippines, uh, Spain, Japan, wow. Germany. Yeah, Enjoy. yeah, yeah. Um, so, Mainly because I know, like, I know, like, Red Bull is only one of the adv- like, like, uh, on, on, like, one of the mm-hmm. avenues, but they still have like, you know, like, you know, like the breakdancing competitions. Yeah, and yeah. I know those. Mm-hmm. They're global, like you know. Yeah. So that type of music is always yeah. Like, you got Red I know Bull. I'm centered about like what I listen to. It's not on the global scale sometimes. So no facts. That type of dance like, music is way exactly. it reaches. Yeah, and I mean, even though because people don't know, Crump is actually like twenty, almost twenty five years old, and people don't know that. You know what I mean? People was like, "What? Are, what are they doing? Like, man, we've been around for two decades." You well, know what I you mean? Would you consider what like a uh, Duke Deuce does as Crump? You know who Duke who? Deuce is? No, okay, he's from like. Uh, Tennessee, but he has like he tries to like mesh kind of crump and hip hop. He does like dancing his music, but it's way more like mm. like the beats are kind of crumpy. If I him. if I if I saw it, I, I'll probably be able to tell you. Okay, but, um, but yeah, man. So like even I mean I do that. Um, I have a clothing line as well. That's hard. Um, please also, shout it out, bro. You just boss wear, yeah, yeah. yeah B O S S wear, yeah. That's fine. Um, so yeah, um, actually, some of my other team we members, just looked into the music yeah. stuff, bro. Like, well, you know? that's all I'm showing yeah. you. That's why. <laughs> okay, but the other stuff's gonna come out way later. Okay, okay. So um, not only that, um, I'm getting ready to. They don't know this yet. I'm I'm actually getting ready to get a 501c3 as well, um, so I can start doing some nonprofit stuff. I'm doing a toy drive later on this year. Okay. Um, I'm doing a back to school barber battle. I'm doing a uh, like a baby shower for businesses that have only been in existence for like five years, um, partnering up with different cities. So I, I do way, way, way more than music. So yeah. Originality and creativity seems like your whole brand. Absolutely. Yeah, that's crazy. Just, trying to just be innovative, you feel me? Trying that's to. Fire. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying get, to have get a whole juice house. thing where we're just yeah. giving back, you know, that exactly. like that. So that's like yeah. exactly. You it know just I mean? seems like motivating so, as well for us, man. Charlie, yeah, everything sure. you're doing is most of my day, man, I, I spend investing in other people. You know, and I I enjoy doing that. You know what I mean? Um I was talking to one of my bros earlier today. Um I'm like, you should go ahead and just join a JC Reppin team. And he's like, for what? I'm like, because that's where I spend most of my time. Anybody that's in JC Reppin, I talk to you all day long. You know, I mean, of course, you know, if, you know, family and stuff. That's like, like that similar too. to uh, you said mentoring like the twelve year old rapper, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I include him in that stuff too. You know, because I, I do teaching as well. So I do like studio etiquette, like how close or how far away to be from the mic, how mm-hmm. to write your songs. Um, you know, just the creativity. I, I teach on stage presence and like the nine parts of a stage that people don't think about. You know, so I, like I said, it's, it's a lot that I do, but. Um, yeah, that's that's a whole nah. Yeah, no, nah, thank you, bro. Honestly, <laughs> Man, just for even breaking down everything you got going on. Yeah, man. especially for going into the music, but I feel like you're just giving ideas for other artists, like yeah. just to get started in other avenues. Because as you said, you started with the beat making, mm-hmm. and you're so talented at rapping now, bro. Oh, like it, you. you know, like it, it just coincides to if you want to get creative, it can it can work. Like you yeah, don't yeah. Gotta limit. I mean, yeah, it's it's that too, but it's like you. <laughs> Dang! If my mom ever watches this, she's gonna be like, "I told you so." It's like you—you you don't make money off of music, and I can hear my mom. I told you so. Like, shut up! <laughs> but nah, artists are not making money off of music. They're not making money off of streams. Yeah. You know, they—they they make money off of appearances and concerts, and that's only if you're like a B-list, C-list, D-list celebrity. Mm-hmm. But if if you somebody that's on the ground floor, they're not paying you to go perform. No, nah, you're you're paying to perform. You're paying to perform exactly. You know, it's, so, it's hella investment. Yeah. So what I'm doing right now is, yeah, I'm doing my music, but it's like it's about what I'm leaving behind. You know what I mean? Like when I die, what are they gonna say about YB? You know what I mean? He was a business owner. He did this, 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 and this. Like I, like my my funeral is about to be lit. You feel, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It. Like it's gonna yeah. be fire. Like oh, he did this. He went here. He did that. He did that. He he bought this and he invested in that. Like hell yeah. Like why not? You know what I mean? Like I like my I keep mentioning my team. Like I, I push them every single day, every single day. Like yo, what are we doing today? What'd you do today? 
You know what I mean? What are you going to do tomorrow? What's your plans for the whole year? I need a step by step. What you doing in January, February? What about J- July? What are you doing in July? Like step by step. You know what I mean? How are you going to turn this into money? Like what you doing? Did you pass out, pass out business cards today? Why not? You feel what I'm saying? Like that's what I do on a daily basis. So I'm, I'm all about, okay, how are we going to get to the next level? Music alone ain't it. You got you to gotta have something else going on on top of that. So you can do music and be a janitor or whatever, but have those multiple sources of income. You feel what I'm saying? I got like 20 sources of income. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm working all day long, all day. You know what I mean? So like I said, I'm trying to be an inspiration to other artists, not even just artists, just other people. Like, yo, just go out there and do something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like there's there's yeah. more to it than just being a barista. No disrespect to the baristas. Huh. You know you know what I mean? Like there's there's more to being a, a teacher or working behind a desk. Like there's, there's, there's a whole world. Of, I mean, just go do it. Try. You know what I mean? You Definitely. might find out you're actually good at it. You know what I mean? Make some yeah. money off of it. I never thought about being a barber. Like I... Jumped into the barber field because I found out I was having a daughter. So I'm like, oh, snap. And then I, then I messed up and I saw a post on Facebook. It's like, oh, yeah, barbers can make this much. I'm like, nigga, what? Bet. Yeah, <laughs> so, I'm there, yeah. I'm so there. I went over. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? So, yeah, that, that's what I'm about. I mean, the music is cool. It's fun. That's what grabs people into my world. But once you're actually in my world, you like, dang, like, you got a lot you going a lot on. More. Yeah, so that, that's what I want. So I'm glad. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad. glad we had this episode. Man. Yeah, for real. And I'm glad you went off on the performers because it's it got us into your world, you know. Like, yeah, I always say that because most of those times, those are just local, you know. These are upcoming <coughs> artists, and it's like I really don't gotta fuck with you because I got my favorites already. Yeah, not that you're not doing that good, right? But like, right. you you might gotta do a little extra to get me on board, you know. Mm-hmm. And you did great, and then also the interview I said as well. So thank you for both. I man. appreciate that. Thank you yeah, guys, man. and I really wouldn't be here again. <coughs> Shout out to Wavy. I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for Wavy. Shout out to Wavy, so. man. Ultimate link to yeah, all this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this, this, yeah, this is the dope platform, man. I really hope you guys keep doing this stuff, man, because yeah. you know we're gonna get you guys out of this little room. We're gonna get some you your own stuff. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So yeah, one day. We there. No, it's coming. It's no. coming because like I w- I really wasn't even expecting all of this stuff to be honest <laughs> with you. I you know, know we're here, man. So yeah, this yeah, is actually try. this is my first podcast ever. Okay, really? You know, Thank yeah, you, man. Ever. Thank you for doing that. You know, so I mean, I've, I've done interviews, but never nothing like this. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is my yeah. first time. You're hella transparent, Wendy. Man, you talk about Gotta you gave a lot of game. You're like, you kept saying yeah. you time on yourself, but yeah. I'm telling you, you're gonna help like people in the future just because I know people are on the same type of goals, same type of mindset. So yeah, you might just yeah. help them to push them I in the direction so. that they were already thinking of maybe going into, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I, I really do hope so, man. Like I said, I, I want to be one of the ones that, you know, when they when you guys ask another artist who's your inspiration. Somebody should be mentioning my name. Oh, I be. Oh, you, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's what I'm doing it for. I want to. I want to leave something behind. I don't want to just do music just because I'm doing music. You know what I mean? Like there's a reason. There's a purpose behind my music. There's a drive. Like I got. I got kids. I got a whole family. You feel what I'm saying? Like we down. Matter of fact, the day we shot the dangerous video, my car got repoed right before we hit record. The same day. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm trying to get another car. I'm in an apartment. I want to get a house. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, I, yeah. I want to be able to pay my team for their services. You know what I mean? I got graphic designer, security guard, um, nail tech. <laughs> when my nails is looking a little crazy, like right now, you know what I mean? Um, I got a cam- uh, photographer, camera person, graphic designer. I got all type of a chef. You know what I mean? So I want to be able to to pay for what they do. And the only way that I can do that is if I jump into business, because like I said, music ain't it. So I'm, I'm doing a lot because there's a lot that I have to take care of <laughs> yeah, or that I want to take care of. Let me say it that way. I, I want to be a blessing to these people. Like they've been a blessing to me. The whole the reason why I'm sitting in this chair, I didn't drive. Like I got a ride. You feel what I'm saying? So I at least want to be like, hey, well, I know it ain't much, but like here, here's 10 bands. You know what I'm saying? I, one day. Don't hold me to that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I want to, I want to, at least, I want to, at least. Yeah. Have it. Damn, damn. He said 20 different cups. I don't believe it. <laughs> One day we, we get there. We, we, we on our way there. We on our yeah, way there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I want to get to the point to where somebody is like, oh, it's going to cost 10 bands and, and I don't flinch. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm working up to. So, yeah. And, and then I just got a new goal. I want to pay for my son to get to college. You know what I mean? He's 14 right now, so I got four years to make something pop. So I'm like, that's why I'm pushing so hard because he got college around the corner. You know what I mean? So I want to pay for him to go to college with with no debt. 
You feel what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. like go to whatever college you want to because daddy got it. That's that's what I'm working for. And I'm, mm-hmm. I'm I'm serious about that. Like anybody that gets in my way, like you putting yourself in danger, you feel me? Cause I'm like, if it's you come dangerous. in between, yeah. <laughs> that's why I wrote the song. It's like, if, if you get in my yeah. way between me and my money, me and my family, me and what I got going on, like you in trouble, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, it was me and the homie right here that came up with the, with the idea for no, the song. For the song. You know, cause we were talking about it. And I told him, I'm like, man, I'm, I'm in like a really dangerous mode right now. Like if you get in my way, like it's a problem, like a problem, problem. You know what I mean? And so I went home and, and that was one of the quickest verses I ever wrote. Cause I was like, nah, you can see it in my eyes. I was made for this. I, I was, I was like pissed, but in a good way, you know? So yeah, I'm done talking now. Nah, that's <laughs> nah you're good, man. bro. Nah. Yeah, when y'all get me going, we need you this one more time. So yeah. Give us a link to the new album. Can yes. I be honest? JC, where to find all your stuff? Social yeah. page, everything, bro. All of that stuff. So the the website for the album is jcreppin, um, jcreppin.com. Um, later on this year, you're gonna see the stuff for like my my dance music, the clothing line, and the the barber and all that stuff's coming later this year. Excuse me. Um, the the handles Instagram at this is YB. Um, please follow me. I need some followers. I need some more followers. We was trying to like monetize the Instagram. I couldn't even do it yet because I don't mm. got enough followers. <laughs> so give me some followers so I can make some more money. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> so oh, yeah. Um, I think we're gonna push all out. Oh, that. I'm on TikTok. YB Terion. I don't really use TikTok like that. I'm, uh, it's it's kind of foreign to me, but I just kind of sound old right now. But whatever. Um, Facebook, I'm not giving you my Facebook. <laughs> stay, stay off my Facebook. Yeah, stay off of that. Hey, I don't really use it. Like, it's yeah, nothing yeah. there. It's a bunch of like old pictures from when I was like skinny with no facial hair. Like, you don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah that's, that's fine, everything, man. man. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you for coming on, man. Appreciate it. was a great you. episode. It was. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. Episode 30. Young. Sizer. Jim was YB, thank you. Shout out to Lynn. Go around with the town. my way. Of my shit, niggas be making a sound. Niggas don't wish where I'm from. Grind till we making it out. Yeah. Selling that fish, selling that fish.